Hi everyone, this is Little Surprises YT or Amy, and this video begins my Halloween or autumn theme tutorials of 2015. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pumpkin inspired trinket box, and this was actually an accidental creation that I made, so I'm really really excited to share with you guys this tutorial. So let's get started. So first you're going to need a spherical object. I'm using scrap clay that I formed into a ball and has hardened, I've baked it, and I'm wrapping it up in aluminum foil so that whatever piece that we kind of put over it will not stick to my scrap piece of clay. And here is my sphere all covered up. Next, I'm going to be using some oven baked clay by Sculpey, and I got this from Walmart for I think like two bucks. It was really, really cheap. And this is a lot cheaper than using polymer clay. So afterwards, we are going to start rolling it out to flatten it. And you kind of want it to be as even as possible. If it's not even, it's okay. It just might be a little thicker on one side than the other. For the outlines of the pumpkin, I started by creating one straight line at one end and just started following the shape of this sphere until I got to the other side and connected the line. And I did this, I think, four times and it will create this kind of um, sliced pattern. So as you can see, after I finished connecting the first line, it made it into like a pokeball shape. Then I went in the opposite direction perpendicular to the line and then created these four slices now. And then you're going to keep going to however many kind of outlines you'd like to make. I did this four times so I think it created uh, four, eight equal like slices on the pumpkin. Sorry, can't do math apparently. And then at the end, this is what your pumpkin should look like. So now to open up the pumpkin piece, I'm starting to create this star shape on top with my little blending tool over here that I got from a Sculpey kit. And then I also added in a little stem and blended it in as well. I baked this at 275 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes and now we are going to start cutting apart the three pieces of our pumpkin trinket box. So first I started to carefully cut at the top and you can see that I'm doing this very very slowly and it's probably better to be using a scrap piece of clay for the sphere because you can actually use your blade to cut through the entire um, top part and you're going to feel like the squishiness. You also want to do this while it's still kind of warm because if it's cold it might crumble apart and break and you don't really want that to happen. So as you can see part of the aluminum foil came off with the top but that's totally fine that's why we're using aluminum foil and it also creates kind of like the inside pumpkin texture when you carve out a pumpkin so that's pretty cool. Now we're starting to cut the spherical portion of the pumpkin and um, I'm cutting a straight line down the middle and you want to be really careful when you do this because the piece is still hot and two you don't want to cut your finger and you also might not know the piece might start rolling around so just be really really careful when you do this. Then you have this kind of kinder egg moment when you open up the pumpkin and then you can take out your sphere. Uh, there are some cut marks in it but that's okay because you can still reuse it and all you have to do is take off the aluminum portion of the pumpkin. Again it creates a nice little pumpkin texture on the inside and then there you have it your three pieces. And here I'm just assembling it together so that you can see that um, it still stands when you have all the three pieces assembled. So next I'm just using a clean brush to take out any of the little pieces on the inside, the crumbly parts that did not attach to the pumpkin, and then just making sure that it still assembles properly. Then since I don't have any orange paint, I used red, yellow, and a little bit of gold to create the color of my pumpkin. Now before painting on the orange, I added in some black outlines with acrylic paint into the little crevices of the pumpkin. This just creates a little contrast with the orange later. Now before you have the black paint completely dried, I started painting on the orange and as you can see the black kind of blended in with the orange, which I think had a really nice look to it. It wasn't intentional, it just happened to do, uh, you know, appear this way. And then after the first coat is dried, I actually went in with a second coat of paint to make it a little more opaque. And obviously if you don't want the paint to look that dark, you just wait for the black to completely dry. 
Now for the inside, I used a little bit of yellow paint and whatever orange was left over on my brush to color in the inside of the pumpkin. Mind you, I've actually never carved a pumpkin. I never owned a pumpkin, so I actually don't really know what the color looks like, but this is what I think the color looks like. I left the entire piece to dry overnight before you know using it again, and here is my pumpkin. I really, really love it and it actually sticks together because of the paint so if you don't want it to stick together you might not want to paint the edges of the pumpkin and there you have it that's the entire tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed so now i'm just kind of having some fun with it and i also painted on some vines and leaves that's totally optional as well and again if you actually wanted to make the bottom portion a full pumpkin that's not like this trinket box kind of thing you can always glue the two hemispheres together but I actually thought the trinket part kind of um, look to it was really cool because you put stuff in it you can open it and close it it's a little more mobile and here I put in my little caramel apple porgy and then in the next piece as you can see it's very sturdy um, everything stuck together when I rolled it across the table and inside is my little porgy which is stuck in there so I had to open it up and free him oh that's not a porgy that's a panda Troubles aren't the only things that fit inside. You can use this as a little box to give gifts inside. So I put in a little ring. It also fits necklaces and it's just really perfect to give to a friend. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I do have this listed on Etsy right now, so you can feel free to purchase it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will stay tuned for more Halloween and Autumn inspired tutorials.